It's a beautiful thing now where generation you come and say, come hear you, encourage you, participate, come chant and chant you. Oh, we look, look, look. It's time to clock in at God's job. Amen. It's time to clock in here. Même même gens ou claque l'autre bois ou fait bel job l'autre bois pour y avoir une claque. Non non let this bullshit. This is your time that you are giving back to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Et grâce au Seigneur. Et grâce au Seigneur. Si ça pas fait grâce au Seigneur. Amen. Hallelujah. On a commencé avec mes chants.
going to be reading from James 2, verse 14 to 26. James 2, verse 14 to 26. Can you write find it? What is what good is it, my brother, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of them says, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them things needed for their body, what good is that? So also by also faith by itself, if it does not have work, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. Do you want to be shown, you foolish person, that faith apart from works is useless? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered up his son Isaac on the altar? You see that faith was active along his works, and faith was completed by his works. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and he and it was counted that to him as righteousness. And he called a friend of God. And he was called a friend of God. You see that a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. And in the same way was not also Rahab the prostitute justified by works when she received the messenger and sent them out by another way. For as the body apart from the spirit is dead, so also faith apart from works is dead. Amen. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Le seul symptôme, si Dieu veut, l'église du Siag est pour rencontrer avec toute l'église qui l'a dispute ici. Mais ces fils-là, toute l'église de Paris Unis ensemble, la friporte. Mais ces fils-là, prédicateur absolu du Siag et modérateur absolu du Siag tout. Je prie une grâce, prie une pour l'autre. Parce que nous avons besoin de prier l'autre. Ainsi donc, ça vit la semaine, là. Pas négliger, please. Parce que l'un de vous, nous t'y faisons. Ensemble, là, devant toi, là. Et l'un de vous, nous t'y faisons ensemble, là, prier. Il y a un résultat pour Dieu, même dans le ciel, là. D'abord, priez-vous pour la Dieu, priez-vous pour tout, car je veux prier, l'Église a besoin de prier. Vous gagnez, nous, à Haïti, vous avez aimé tout le monde, l'Église a gagné, car vous n'avez pas eu, vous présentez comme ça. Il présente un conseil et qui est présenté, m'a fait mettre une bonne maïtique d'elle pour servir aux identifications de tout le monde. De fort, tout le monde qui voulait gagner à Haïti ça, ou avec Cathy ou bien avec Frère Jean, et il va être dans le processus là. Et que ça vient avec nous, nous y a seulement. Tu as vu passer pour annoncer des dames. La paix de Dieu soit avec vous. Père sauvé, bon Dieu béni, béni soit l'éternel. Béni soit l'éternel. Béni soit l'éternel. Gloire à Jésus. Il y a une série, mon Dieu, où rentrer dans le monde des invisibles. Est-ce qu'on est, mon Dieu? C'est spirituellement qu'on a une mon Dieu. Nous parlons, mon Dieu. L'envie là, on parle, mon Dieu, pas vrai? Mais on croit que mon Dieu existe. Il dit que moi, je suis de moi-même, quoi que m'existe. Et que c'est le rémunérateur de votre foi. C'est mon Dieu, bon, la foi, pourquoi que l'existe, c'est vrai? Et maintenant, si on vivant toujours, nous disons que c'est grâce à mon Dieu. Nous portons des salutations pour les dames, de, le président de Dame Nantes et Il te dit comme ça que vendredi soir, le service là a fait qu'il y Nicolette. Ce Nicolette là, les mêmes, il va pas adresser à Kaïli. Nous disons que c'est Sœur Vénia qui a dirigé le service là pour nous et Sœur Daniel va prêcher pour nous dans le service là à la gloire de Dieu. Et nous avons parlé avec. Euh, se euh, mentionner, les dit comme ça que l'acteur nous et n'a pas qui date n'a pour commencer n'a pour commencer les pétitions. Ce n'est pas les mêmes qui campent. Nous avons des vacances, tout le monde est prend vacances, pas vrai? Les dames, it's time to stand up. Stand up for the Lord. Parce que nous avons un peu Tout ce que nous avons ici, il y a passé. Il y a passé. Nous avons travaillé, c'est vrai, nous avons fait 10 jobs, nous avons fait 50 jobs, mais nous n'avons pas la grande. On y est, on y est, on y est du tout. On travaille pour mon Dieu et la récompense va grand dans les cieux. La paix, mon Dieu, avec vous. Je vais prendre ici la jeunesse. La jeunesse qui annonce euh, pour faire le songe, qui est. We're going to have our annual. We're going to have our. Thank you. We're going to have our annual. Um, picnic, thank you. Picnic, thank you. Saturday, September 1st. Gain picnic, la fête ici, la commencé à 3h30, 4h après-midi. Ok? Sauvine, so, 
supporter la vie, réjouir avec vous. Vous connaissez toujours dans l'église, ou pas de temps pour chita avec vous, pour faire un conseil. Et laissez vous, vous pouvez parler avec vous, vous pouvez jouer avec vous, vous pouvez faire un peu de monde tout. Et pas vrai? So, vin, vin, réjouis yo avec, avec Timoun yo. And then, as far as this youth service, nous toujours gagne youth service, um, dimanche soir, ex, no, the fourth Sunday. It's fourth Sunday. Nous pas gagne, except fourth Sunday. Je songe, dans l'autre semaine, yon, premier, deuxième, troisième, cinquième, dimanche yo, toujours gagne la jeunesse, um, service à jeunesse, après-midi, il commence à 7 heures, après-midi. Pas oublier, ah, ex, du soir, pas après-midi. Ok, songez yo. Et puis songez yo nos prières. Mes amis, l'école va commencer chaque jour. Chaque jour, bon Dieu met sur la terre, c'est en grâce. Si vous yo sorti à l'école, pas de monde qui entre dans l'école là pour physique. Yo vous retournez là, quand vous avez mangé, vous avez ça, vous avez mangé, vous avez mangé, vous avez mangé, vous avez couché dans le carbone, vous avez levé, vous avez fait encore, vous n'avez pas connu qui j'en ai travaillé du chaque matin, chaque nuit, chaque fois. Nous n'avons pas fait effort, mais c'est grâce que nous avons fait ça. Amen. Amen. Nous avons fait des choses qui sont en announcement. Un testimony, ça, un témoignage. Oh, ok. Il y a un mot pour dire avec l'église, ok? Bonjour, Benino. Oui. Oui, bon, plus si on peut. Pour le partager avec nous. Mais quoi, non? Pour nous donner une réponse. Pour nous interpréter, pour nous donner une réponse. Pour nous aider, pour nous aider, pour nous interpréter. Nous sommes avec nous depuis 2000, 2006, à nos jours. Nous sommes avec nous, nous maman, nous papa, nous sommes frère, nous sommes soeur. Nous passons souvent depuis l'église pour nous venir là. Mais c'est là pour nous venir, c'est là pour nous baptiser. Ici, c'est là pour nous venir. Bon Dieu, mettre les quatre mois de Dieu sur la route pour aider nous sur la route. Mais nous sommes là, alors c'est beaucoup de questions, je vais expliquer plus tard. Et il y a un homme qui voulait faire une expérience. Et chaque fois, il a besoin de faire des choses. Il faut prier pour moi. Des fois, il prie son bagage, il n'y a pas de résultat. Il faut prier pour moi pour une ballon de réponse. Et puis, dernièrement, il a un sujet, il a un sujet, il a un prier pour lui. Mon Dieu, ça m'a dit, il a dit, ok, c'est ça, je t'attends. Mais il a un peu pour moi sur WhatsApp pour m'expliquer mon nom concerné. Il a fait ça. Le lendemain encore, il dit, moi, on a un sujet seul. Il dit, il n'y a pas besoin de dire un sujet qui est tel Samuel m'a dit. Pour si, visiblement, je vais avoir une réponse avec ça pour demander ça au besoin. Effectivement, il n'y a pas dit. Et puis, je dormi, je me réveille, je fais une vision, une première vision. Et puis, je me dis, je dis, là, je ne pas comme ça, je à des dit. Et puis, il était 3 h 11 je me réveillais, je suis allé à la prière, sous genou. Je dis, bon Dieu, il y a besoin d'un message. Il n'y a pas agi de par sa propre sagesse. Et il vous dit, si l'Éternel ne bâtit pas la ville, si l'Éternel ne garde pas la ville, celui qui la garde le grand vin, il a un bon ballon message pour ne pas agir de par lui-même. Tant que bon message pour lui. Il vient pour une deuxième vision. Nous avons eu des gens qui ont eu des cartes dans le travail. Nous avons eu des cartes dans la poche. Et puis, nous avons eu des cartes là. Et puis, après ça, nous avons eu des cartes dans le patra. Nous avons eu des cartes dans le patra. Nous avons eu des cartes dans le patra. Nous avons eu des cartes dans la poche. Après ça, nous avons eu des cartes dans le travail. Nous avons eu des cartes dans le sorti. Nous avons marché avec des culottes. Nous avons eu des cartes. Qui n'a pas tant de sorties sur moi, qui l'aime déshabillé, je ne sais pas, même tout le monde est dans le Même les corsages, je ne pas de pantalon. Après, je vais me chercher, chercher, je vais me faire un pantalon. Après, je vais me mon petit bout de jupe sur moi, tout petit coup de coup qui couvre seulement la culotte là. Je me suis dit, comment me faire déshabiller Qui l'aime déshabillé Côté pantalon, je cherche pantalon, je cherche pantalon, je cherche pantalon. Je ne sais jamais où pantalon. 
Look at that, Cole. You guys want you to drop. Come on, you guys. There's, there's nothing like being in God's presence. Not for that one at them, okay?
to win another way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you're protecting them. Thank you, Lord. I thank you in advance for protecting them. Thank you, Lord. And then another city, another country, God, I thank you, Lord. Because they could have been, they could have been in another, another, another earthquake somewhere. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. Why? Because surely goodness and mercy has followed me all the days of my life. Surely goodness and mercy has followed my family all the days of my life. Surely goodness and mercy has followed my church all the days of my life. I bless the Lord because goodness and mercy is following us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There is a secret in praising God with everything that you have. So when we do things halfway, we wonder why we are still halfway to our destiny. The woman of God had prayed where two or three gathered there in the midst God should be. He wants to be here. The Holy Ghost wants to sit on here. The Holy Ghost wants to give you our impartation. The Holy Ghost wants to speak to you. The Holy you. The Holy Ghost wants to fill you, but if you do half things halfway, God cannot meet you halfway. Because He's all the way blessing God. He never blesses you halfway. He blesses you all the way. Stand with me. We're turning to the book of Numbers. Thank you, Lord. Chapter 32. No shall be done Verse 1 through 11. Friend of boy, come read the French for me, please. Creole, French, whichever one you have. Nombre chapitre 32, verset 1 à 11. Les fils de Ruben et les fils de Gad avaient une quantité considérable de troupeaux. Et ils virent que le pays de, ja de Jazer et le pays de Galad étaient un lieu propre pour des troupeaux. Alors les fils de Gad et les fils de Ruben vinrent auprès de Moïse, du sacrificateur Eléazar et des princes de l'Assemblée. Et il leur dit, « After what? »« Dibon, Jazer, Nimra, Hezbon, Eléale, Seban, Nibo, Ibeon. »« Ce pays que l'Éternel a frappé devant l'Assemblée d'Israël est un lieu propre pour des troupeaux. »« Et les serviteurs ont des troupeaux. »« Ils ajoutèrent, « Si nous avons trouvé grâce à tes yeux, que ta possession... » Que la possession de ce pays soit accordée à tes serviteurs et ne nous fait point passer le Jourdain. Moïse répondit aux fils de Gad et aux fils de Reuben, vos frères sont-ils à la guerre et vous, resterez-vous ici Pourquoi voulez-vous décourager les enfants d'Israël de passer dans le pays que l'Éternel leur donne Ainsi firent vos pères que je les, que je les envoyais de, de Cadès, Barnéès pour examiner le pays. Ils montèrent jusqu'à la vallée des Chols et après examiner le pays, ils découragèrent les enfants d'Israël d'aller dans le pays que l'Éternel leur, leur donnait. La colère de l'Éternel s'enflamma ce jour-là et il jura en disant, « Ces hommes qui sont montés d'Égypte depuis l'âge de 20 ans et au-dessus ne verront point le pays que j'ai juré de donner à Abraham, à Isaac et à Jacob, car ils n'ont pas subi pleinement ma voix, suivi pleinement ma voix. » Excepté Caleb, fils de Zéphuné, le Kénésien, et Josué, fils de Nun, qui ont pleinement suivi la voie de l'Éternel. La colère de l'Éternel s'enflamma contre Israël et il les fit entrer dans le désert pendant 40 ans. 
Now the children of Reuben and the children of Gad had a very great multitude of cattle. And when they saw the land of Jazer and the land of Gilead, that behold, the place was a place for cattle. Save Caleb the son of Jenneth and Kenzai and Joshua the son of Nun, for they have wholly followed the Lord. So far the scriptures. Please turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor. Neighbor? Neighbor? Subject for today. Is go till the end. The subtopic today is follow God all the way. Turn to the other neighbor and say, subtopic for today is follow God all the way. Now give God a praise for that. Hallelujah. all the way. The subtopic is suivez Jésus or suivez bon Dieu all the way. It's just kind of fair. Thank you. All right, everybody, have you seated. Is everybody help me preach today? Amen. 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 Everybody help me preach today. Amen. Let's go up and then push it, Josiah. Let's go up and then push it, Josiah. Don't be Josiah. No. Oh, thank you. All right. All right, so, Josiah, I want to tell you about that, uh, a little bit different. Le nom chapitre 32. You see, petite woman. Let me get this line of kids right here. Come, come to me. The children of Reuben, the first lady, the first, the first row, first row, come here. Stand on this side right here. You, you too. The children of Reuben stand, face the people, face the people. These are the children of Reuben. This second row, come here, please. Say petite. God, face the people. I need somebody to volunteer to be Moses. Come be Moses. Stand right there. Stand right here. Stand right here. So stand like this. Be my tea. Is I am Sudawut. Ebli, or we're picking up. Timon Wibbe, avec God, vin, you go to your way, ki, the land is beautiful. Kere your way, la terre belle, you can make the famille la, you can make the cattle la, you can make the kayo la, you can bati n'importe baga you vle, you can bati you city, you you could have pull from you a little bit. Can I get an amen? Amen. So you're not they on a path, so you're you're so you you say man. Go cur bon dieu play meter you could the canon. And they have to cross over the Jordan. Do you know what you bon dieu a buy up you place? Keep it going past it, continue where you are. But during the shemer, continue moving to the left. Watch it. In life, my lovey, do you care? You circumstances keep the way you continue where you are. You know what? Watch it with bon Dieu. For you to understand. Tout va qui belle, pas toujours ça, bon Dieu, il est pour vous. Amen. So, nous qui dit mon Dieu là, yo, eh, oh, got it? Let's make it plain for them. This place is nice. This house is nice. This car is nice. This playground is nice. This school is nice. This pool is nice. This church is nice. 
This area is nice. But it's not always what God wants for you. You call me to Hawaii. problem. Not all the time. But sometimes people are in a place where they become comfortable. But you pull me to the promised land. But we settling for halfway there. Don't you? Bottle you exempt. Le yo vi wè kote yo vi pale avec Moïse. Yo vi mande Moïse. OK. La place là di bon pou nou, la pou tou la. Moïse. I will go to paraphrase and say, Moïse di bon Dieu. Ki sa ou vle di? Avec God. Pour dit Moïse, remember, the Papa a fait même pas la la Kadesh. And parce que Papa a fait même pas la Kadesh, pour Dieu de vin envahi avec un cœur avec colère. Pour Dieu fâché que lui fait, il passe, il y a pas de monde qui passe l'âge 20 ans qui est entré dans l'air de promesse. C'est parce que même si il y a un peu de temps, il y a fait déjà. Pour Dieu, il y a passé un peu de temps que il y a pas de l'air de promesse. So let me use you to call the mistake that they fell on for. If I'm not doing what I should be doing, they will return and say, "Ah, ah, my friend, be careful." Yes, for this, you need to go there. Why is it? Because my father did this already. Until everybody that was in that generation died. There is a hidden secret to obedience. Amen. 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 Be the obedience is better than sacrifice. So when God gave us an instruction, or better yet, a guidance. A direction. Nous pas qu'à faire ça nous vle. Parce que le faire ça nous vle, there is a big consequence to doing what we want as opposed to what God has instructed us. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. So for the kids, because say your forefathers made a mistake. Now the next generation have to pay 40 years, or take 40 years for to get for them to get somewhere that would have taken 40 days. How many of us are really giving God all that we have? How many of us are really serving God the way we should? Come in, I've come in, then who? I buy what you grow. You buy pussy. Nothing, nothing else but God. Let you feel where forty years when something should be forty days. That is a big difference in time. Some of us should have been way further than we are now, but because of disobedience and not following God all the way. We are in where we are today. Can I get an amen? Amen. Pastor, Papa 
Yamte, Gretila Kadesh. You wait in a wilderness of Bukarat Ane. Kurt Ane, some people don't make it past 20 years old nowadays. We can't afford 40 years of mistakes. We can't afford 40 years of going around in circles. You pack up, I spend count on a day. I feel member like that. You say we want to mention, you buy you buy men like all that. You buy men plays. You buy men mother. How many of us realize that we are going in a circle? and expect God to bless us all the way. Can I get an amen? Listen, I'm guilty. When God speaks, he speaks to the preacher first. The message comes to us first. What we're doing in the wilderness is, I want you to grab hands. Come here, everybody, grab hands. Grab hands. Grab hands. Come closer, come closer. Come closer, come closer. Come closer, grab hands. Come, come a little bit over here. Come, come a little bit. Come this way, this way. Come this way. Come this way. Come closer. So, the wilderness. I'm Israel. This is the wilderness. But kind of I did. This is what I'm doing. Now, what you put me when but a thread. But I'm going around in circles, never able to make it to the promises of God. Now, God has promised some of us long life, but we die early. God promises us a house, but we cannot get our credit right. God promises us our children to be saved, but they want to run from the church as far as they can get. God promises us to be wealthy, but we are experiencing a valley low in our finances. God promises us healing, but we are always sick. There is a secret to following God all the way that we have not tapped into. Because we are going around in the wilderness 40 years because we decided we want to stop halfway. We want to stay where we are, but God is calling us to a greater level and a greater expectation. But we're going in circles because we are not following what he's asking. Amen. Our children are destined to make the same mistake if we don't understand or explain to them, God wants all of you. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. If you keep turning around, you become dizzy. <laughs> yes. The enemy is making you go in a circle or spinning around till you don't know what's right, what's left, what's up, what's down because you're going through life and now you're stopping in a place that God wants you to move forward. Amen. Stop everybody. The enemy tricked Israel into believing that the land that you have is exactly what God wants for you. So the enemy is tricking you and saying, oh, it's okay for us to stay right where we are. When God needed every one of us to make it into the land that he promised. There is a battle that has to be taken or done, even though God has promised us to get into Canaan. But at the Jordan, there is a battle that every one of us are in. The battle to make it to where God wants us to be is why God cannot let you stay right where you want to be. We are the, we 
are positioned here to take the whole Long Island Eastern region, the whole Long Island Suffolk region, the whole Long Island, all east, west, north, and south by surprise with our praise to God to be allow his spirit to come down, but we want to just stay in a little four-door church. There are demonic regions that are, there are demonic forces that are over the region. That means they cover the space, the air that we breathe. They cover the area that we walk in. And we have the power to be able to cast these demons out. We have the power to be able to speak healing into other people. We have the power to be able to go to the hospital and touch somebody's hand and help them get healed. But we don't want to stay in just a safe zone of being inside the four walls of the church. These little ones, the Bible says, our little ones will prophesy. They'll dream dreams. They will be able to, they, they will be able to do greater works than some of us. But because we messed up in Kadesh, and again, we won't protect them from making a mistake in the land that they're seeing now, they might be stuck with doing another 40 years. And the same thing that we're doing now. the land of promise as opposed to settling we are here today everybody have a seat turn to your neighbor tell your neighbor I'm going all the way 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 Repetition is a seed of persuasion When you feel like you're coming against an obstacle You gotta tell yourself I'm going all the way when you see that, oh, my body's not responding to what I needed to do, you say, by his stripes, I am healed. I'm going into the land of healing all the way. Amen. What's your promise? Why is God saying, follow me? Because even though that the place that you are can be a place God wants you to be, it might not be the time because he has a purpose for you in the land of promise. Amen. If you go further down in the text, there is a deal made with the children. There's a deal made. How many of you guys like to make deals with your parents? How many of you guys like to make deals with your parents? Lift up your hands. Who likes to negotiate here? <laughs> who's, in the, who's a good negotiator? All, all of our kids are negotiators. By, by, by nature, am I correct? Am I correct? Yes. Mommy, I'll do something for a cookie. That's negotiation, isn't it? <laughs> right? Yeah. So, the children negotiated. They negotiate. You negotiate. Say your name. What did you say? Okay. You buy the nugget. Si tout le monde s'est venu dans la guerre, nous quittons tout le monde qui a besoin d'entrer dans la guerre, entrer, they take their inheritance, but buy you some money. Sometimes, ce n'est pas ça qui est mal. C'est tant que mon Dieu besoin, il n'y a plus mon temps pour le prendre. C'est clair, la vie c'est pour toi de mon Dieu. Et voir le bon Dieu, c'est de tout. Même si on a l'air par Brother Long, par every word, tous les mots qui sont de nos bouches, mon Dieu. So sometimes it's not that you want something bad. It's not the timing of God. You guys getting me? It's not that what you want is wrong. 
It's the timing of God. It's not the time at all. My wife was telling me, running a two mile race, when you take off, it's usually six lanes, right? On a track. And get one akui su takla, get one ki pili fit, get one ki pili slow, get one ki la mita. But for two miles, akui, the first lap is only a quarter of a mile. So after the first lap, le akui, you put me in lap lap. Chess will begin to be I play ooh santi kuku, ooh swa ooh santi, ooh kuku kaku and people get seven more, seven more to go, seven, seven more laps, seven, seven more to And people for good fini, for good fini, we back at stop for for good fini the two miles. So you you at number two now. Now ooh santi kuku, two the seven more go, pull it. And Some things where you are, if you stop, there are others that are going to be affected that will destroy their destiny. Amen. So I'm running this race. I'm running. I'm running. I'm at lap three. I'm, I feel like I'm going to fall out. I still have five more to go, right? At lap three, you have four more to go? Yeah. At seven, no, 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 no. Lap three is eight laps. Sorry, sir. Okay. Eight laps. <laughs> That's two miles, right? So now you're at lap three. When you get to lap four, you're halfway there. You're like, yes, I'm. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm halfway there. I'm, I'm not there yet. So you got to keep going. But by now, all your body is like shaking. You're tired, you're tired and you still have to keep moving because somebody else's life depends on you finishing that race. race. That was the importance of everyone making it into the land of promise. Because if I don't make it, it affects you. If you don't make it, it affects her. If she don't make it, it affects him. If he don't make it, it affects her. So what happens when you stop? Yes, we are already in this race, so you're at lap eight now, you're at lap six. And now what you have is you're sweating profusely. You feel like you have no more energy. And you're saying certain things to yourself. You're saying certain things to yourself. At this point, you are lap six. You're saying, I can't figure it out. But God sends an answer. God says, I will direct your steps. In Proverbs 3, 5, and six. Now you gotta keep running, so you say, God, I am too tired. And he says, I will give you rest. In Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30. Now you are at lap seven in your mind, you're saying, this is impossible. And why you're saying this is impossible, he's saying all things are possible in Luke chapter 18. Verse 27. Amen. Amen. But sometimes in life you're running and you say, but nobody loves me. The Bible says, I love you. John 3, verse 16. Sometimes you experience in life and you say, but I cannot forgive myself. God says, I forgive you. Amen. Romans 8 and 1. Sometimes you're looking and you're around and you're saying, well, it's not worth it for me to keep running or for me to keep going. God says it will be all worth it in Romans 8 and 28. 
Sometimes you are looking to start a business and you don't know where to start from and you say, I'm not smart enough. God is saying, I will give you wisdom. Amen. Because that's what I promised you in the land of promise. And wisdom is in 1 Corinthians 1 and 30. God, sometimes we are young and we say, I'm not able to do what I see my parents are doing. God says, I am able. In 2 Corinthians 9 and 8. Now you are almost at, at the finish and, you, you, and the enemy comes to you and smacks you in the head and says, I can't go in. I can't go on. But God says, my grace is sufficient. In 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Then God, then you say, I can't do it. You can do all things through wow. Christ that strengthens you in Philippians 4 and 13. Sometimes you say, oh God, you're going to give me all these things to manage. I have all these things to balance. He said, you said, I can't manage. God responds and says, I will supply all of your needs in Philippians 4 and 19. The biggest one, one of the biggest ones is I'm afraid to win. But God says, I have not given you a spirit of fear. In 2 Timothy 1 and 7. And the last but not least, I feel alone. And God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you in Hebrews 13 verse 5. Now we're getting to the Jordan. And all these excuses that you have put before God and God is saying, I have an answer for that. Now, ironically, God is saying, I'm giving you a land, but we fight for the land. Why is it I'm giving you a land when we fight for the land? The reason is because we are predestined to win. Amen. And the pulse of God, as you see him going, is always the pulse of keeping you moving forward. The pulse of God is always a pulse that push forward. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Even though I'm sweating, I'm going to keep going. Even though I'm afraid, I'm going to keep going. Even though I'm tired, I'm going to keep going. Even though I feel like I have no resources, I'm going to keep going. Shake your neighbor by the hand and say, keep going. Encourage them to keep going. Encourage them to keep praying. Encourage them to keep fasting. Amen. Encourage them to keep lifting up their hands. Amen. Encourage them to keep clapping their hands. Because what happens is, as you keep going, the enemy can't stop you. Because God is pushing you. So you got to understand that every question or every inquiry that you have, God has the answer. So you got to keep going. You got to keep moving. You got to keep marching. You got to keep going towards the hill where it's coming from your help. So you have to understand there's a promise to you and you can't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Stand to your feet. And rest. Grab your neighbor by the hand and begin to march with me. Keep going. March with me. March with me. You are marching into your destiny. You are going to whatever God promised you. You're going into a long life. You're going into prosperity. You're going into the land of milk and honey. You're going to the house God promised you. You're going to the dependence God promised you. You're going to the life God promised you. God promises people to never be 
let the Lord, you're going to this place of being overwhelmingly loved. Understanding that God loves you. Keep moving. Keep you moving your feet. Regardless of how tired you get, you have to understand that you've got to press past the tiredness. They're going to give you, God's going to give you a second wind. He's going to blow his ruah into you. Give God praise. Move your feet. Open up your mouth. Thank God for how good he's been. Thank God for how great he's been. Thank God for how excellent he's been. Thank God because you are able to do this on your own. Thank God because nobody has to pick up your feet and put it down for you. Thank God that nobody has to pick up your hand and put it down for you. God deserves a praise without nobody saying anything because he's just that good. He's just that great. He's just that excellent. He's just that wonderful. He's just that amazing. He's just that wonderful. He's just that majestic. He's just that he's able to keep you. He's able to make you jump. He's able to give you the strength. He's able to give you the movement. You are able to keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Even though it gets tiresome. Keep moving. Keep moving forward. Keep following God. Keep following his word. Keep following his voice. Sometimes you're gonna speak from afar. He said, come on to me. Like he said to the to the to the, to the guy on the water. He said, come to me and don't look at nowhere else. Stay afloat. Keep going. Don't look nowhere else. Don't let your faith waver. Keep moving. Keep giving God praise. Bible you want your cross. 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 I will. I will. 
bless the Lord. Of mingling honey to the land of their destiny. 
Some of them are destined to do magic ministry. Some of them are destined to be great um, entrepreneurs. Some of them are destined to be great, oh God, engineers. Some of them are destined to be great, oh God, oh God, in every area in life, oh God, in every sector, you desire your people to take rule and to take, oh God, to be ahead and uh, be above and not beneath God. So we thank you now in advance. With a with a kind of uh, uh, with hands being clapped, we thank you now. Everybody, God, begin, begin to give God a great hand.